Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina and Keenan Memorial Stadium, home of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets taking on the North Carolina Tar Heels. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Tar Heels will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Georgia Tech's offense will get the first possession of the game. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from the Open runway ahead. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, limiting his carries. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack you throwing the ball. One of them is getting the running back going. And the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. Started this drive with a bang, but now it is third down. With the catch, it's Lane. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Or are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. Grab behind the line. It's Singleton. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff, take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in. He got that something. to the ground. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? Quarterback on the keeper. Fights off a defender. Tackled after picking up the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Great offenses always stay ahead of the chains. That run right there, now you're in a good position. It's not second and long. It's not third and long. Now it's the whole playbook's open. The defense really has to honor run and pass on the next snap. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The RPO, fire complete to the left. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. 
Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown, everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So they put together a 9-play, 75-yard drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the North Carolina Tar Heels offense has its first opportunity of the day. And these two electrifying runners can put on a show, guys. Well, we always talk about the importance of tackling on defense, never more so than it came like this. When you've got two studs in the backfield that can make people look silly, you better bring hats to the football. Yeah, and you think there'll be a lot of carries today? When, when you got running backs like this that you can feature, you're going to see them get the football a lot, early and often. The Tar Heels will hustle to the line. Johnson looking to throw. Quickly complete. Early in the game, I love getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. You've thrown him 4,000 times. Not big shots, but just put you in nice positions on the next downs coming up. Second and short now after that completion. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. And the Tar Heels will snap it on first and ten. They'll give it to him again. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw quickly out to the tight end. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Tight end finds a soft spot. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. That's got to feel really good for this quarterback. It's early in the game, so these third downs are big. You're trying to get your offense into a rhythm and a flow. Nice job reading the defense. A beautiful pass. Ball marked at the 26. It's first and 10. It's a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Got some work to do after that last play, second and 13. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Drives ahead for three to the 27-yard line. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Pressure coming. 
And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Georgia Tech has the ball back. And here comes the yellow jacket offense. Pulls and fires complete. Slips one guy. And now he's loose. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after a terrific run. Big play in the running game for this offense. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A lot of times those draw plays are successful when those defensive linemen they run up the field, rush the quarterback, create some holes. Not this time. The defensive line did a really good job understanding that, seeing the draw play, getting the running back, getting his butt on the ground. Looking for a man, it's King. It's on target and complete. Knocked off his feet. Listen, QBs and wide receivers gotta be on the same page. And then you gotta know when to throw that curl route. It's gotta be on time, right with wide receiver breaks so the DB can't catch up. Nice job, QB and wide receiver, being on the same page, getting some positive yards. Third down coming up after the completion. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead and coming around the outside. And fourth down and short nowadays, man, it means green light. Keep your foot on the gas. Stay aggressive. They opt to go for it. Forget the field goal. Nice job by the quarterback. Getting rid of the football, making sure you have enough to get the first down. Now set up in a great situation with a first and goal. The Yellow Jackets trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Linebackers in today's football, obviously guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out of the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle of the hole? Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He'll pull it on the read. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Can these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point makes it 14-3. So a drive there of 85 yards. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. But you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Nifty little dance step. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Tar Heels getting set on first and 10. Handoff from the gun. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Here comes the offense on second down. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Georgia Tech has the lead. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Johnson wants to throw it. Finds his big tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fella, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. From the red zone, looking for a man. And he's got it! Touchdown, UNC! There was not a window there. There was not a sliver of light. There was like the eye of a needle to zip that ball in, and somehow he got it in. No doubt, defensively, you know it's coming. You know who he's going to, where he's going to. You're in great position, but that guy just makes a play. He makes the touchdown catch. What a throw, what a catch, what trust between QB and wide receiver.
Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they cut the lead to 14-10. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. They've cut him up with touchdowns on the last two possessions, and now they have it back. Man, this and he breaks into the open. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got the linebackers laps, man on oh man, it was, it was brutal up front. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, they were going to see some quick game, but nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Dropping back, it's King. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. the 42 if they can get some of it it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down looking downfield and he needs a bunch lets it slip right through his hands and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude that's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down you set up third and longs like that you can show your exotic looks you can get the pass rush going everybody on the back end expecting throw that's how you force incompletions and force fourth down Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wants to bring it back. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score. Your defense does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. Looking down the middle. Tight end getting vertical. Look at that toughness just running through everybody. He's loose down the middle. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. And the Tar Heels moving quickly to the line. The RPO, it's complete. They get him down with this offense to set up first and goal from the nine. Man, this quarterback's been in a nice rhythm all drive, hasn't he? He's just playing on time. He's making good decisions. He's now got the offense at first and goal. I'd let him throw it down here. He has earned that right. The Tar Heels have it with a first and goal. Johnson looking to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Tar Heels! 
the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time racing requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking downfield, it's King. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw. And the misconnection on third down. Third and long situation. They tried to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field. But the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. And the Yellow Jackets will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets it away from his own end zone. Slips through the line. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. And a flag comes in as this one falls incomplete. Let's see what the call is. He knows the receiver. He don't see So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here comes the offense on first down. To the ground with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Makes him talk to the hand. And he jukes the first guy, made him miss, and picked up a few before being brought down. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. They'll try to run for it. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. And they decide to trot out the kicker. He's already made one field goal, but this one is going to need a big leg. A 50-yard attempt coming. Splits the uprights. Good. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So 
so after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. It just had no rhythm in that one. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Man, a lot of coaches talk about starting the drive positive and first play that can get you going the QB just kept backing up and going backwards and that is not the start to the drive they were looking for hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven looking for room it's Haynes a strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Oh, and sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. They're trying to get to it. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Yellow Jackets decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. And he muffs it. It's loose. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. And a huge thank you in order right there. That returner is literally going to go find my man and go, thank you so much for making up for my mistake. That could have been huge, but the offense caught a break. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. It's good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball.
He'll keep it himself. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Dropping back, it's Kane. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. And the Yellow Jackets will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work, fourth time he's punted tonight. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Get him some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense coming up big there. The sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few and you feel comfortable getting home and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the back. At the 40, there he goes. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. They used a chunk play to cross midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. Makes the grab. It's Hampton. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry. They're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. The quarterback there just trying to go to his primary target, and they're just not on the same page. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. Johnson wants to throw it. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Waning seconds of the first half, and they'll try to tack on a three before they head to the locker room. Good right down the boulevard. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Chapel Hill. What a fine performance we've seen. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Keenan Memorial Stadium. Just about set for the second half kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. 100%. Just, you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. And the Tar Heels want to move quickly. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Blackwell. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Johnson looking to throw. He'll take the deep shot. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. We like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Spins away from one. And he was off to the races, finally tripped up at the 36. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. He'll just keep slinging it. Makes the catch. It's Jones. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, the offense just taking what the defense gives them there. There's a lot of cushion out in coverage, so that was just too easy for the quarterback. Spits it out, and they pick up the first. The Tar Heels have it with a first and 10. Got him downfield. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Ramblin' Wreck offense rolls back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down, using the quick game. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. The Yellow Jackets headed quickly to the line. To the air, it's Kane. A little release to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. Here comes the hurry up. Wants 
to fire on second down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. One of my coaches always used to say, don't turn a bad play into a catastrophe. Sometimes you just got to throw the football away. Sometimes you got to tuck the football down and run. QB standing back in the pocket, sitting there with the ball exposed. Sometimes it leads to a fumble. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels. So pleased to send the offense back out. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And the Tar Heels line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Great play by the defense there. Listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat them. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. Slams ahead. Touchdown, UNC! And the punishment has been extended. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. Looking to move it through the air. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. Give to the running back. And it's loose. Scoops it up. Still a live ball. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get him. You're crawling. You're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. Oh, they are breathing a sigh of relief after that recovered fumble. Looking for a man. It's Kane. Fires to the wideout. He got his hands on it but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot, right in the hands. Great play. Still get a pass breakup, but man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fella. Get the six. Get the pick six. Looking to throw on third. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. 
And the Yellow Jackets will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They'll test the right side. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down at second and seven. They move the tight end all over. He's going to pass on second down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Blackwell. He'll be stopped at the 27, but picks up 10 on that one. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. The inside handoff. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. He'll run it again. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Johnson wants to throw it, trying to get to it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. The Tar Heels will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll do it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. Back to throw, it's Kane. Oh, he drops it. That is a catch he makes 99 times out of 100, but it'll be third down. Well, I think the ball just got on the receiver so quickly. He took his time working his route. By the time he got his head around, the ball was already there, and he just wasn't able to stab it. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He uncorks one deep. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Mono y mano, man. One-on-one -on -one go ball. Who's going to make a play? The defender steps up to the occasion, knocks that one away for an incompletion. The Yellow Jackets will call on their punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. 
He'll feel the punt and try to make something happen. He gets it out to the 17, the cover unit right there to make the stop. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. And here comes the offense on second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Caught over the middle, it's Jones. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. You got an arm like this and you could just, boom, put it on a line. It's really nice to have that. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Now the play fake. And they can't make the play on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Tar Heels line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. Gonna run it. It's Haynes. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's gonna run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You gotta do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the move, it's King. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He makes the stop at the 48. That'll be enough for a first down and a pickup of 10. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there. Understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line, they'll have it first and 10. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. With the catch, it's Haynes. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Guys have the backfield now, it's not just run the ball down anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on you. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Safe completion on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Really good job on the defense, understanding third down, the situation of the game. I play a little bit deeper, take away the sticks, react to shorter. I got to go get him on the ground now. Nice job making the tackle, but playing the down and distance first, and now forcing a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. One final play before the end of the quarter. Quick strike complete. And they make the tackle, not before he gets the first down. Now let's see if they rush to the line or let the time run out here in the third. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more quarter to go and it looks as if we are ready to play. First and 10 from their own 24 yard line. Running back searching for a hole. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He'll try the left side. 
running with power. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. The give. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. They'll leave it with him. Got the first down, looking for more. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Grabbed behind the line. It's Hampton. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll put the tight end in motion. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. He's got an open man. What a throw. Not a lot of room. He fits it in beautifully, and they've got it at the 30. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long, and on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. The Tar Heels will snap it on first and 10. They'll try the run. No, he just flat ran over it. Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They go to the ground. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. He didn't make it. They'll have to give up the football, and hope is still alive. First down here for the offense. This is so a Jesse Palmer move. Exactly what he would do. Continue to put the foot on the accelerator. Try to rub. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Bust through behind his pad. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. And that's why you want to get this guy the ball in space, because he is hard to bring down. This defense is finding that out the hard way. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. Quarterback on the keeper. 
And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. These read option plays are very hard to stop because you got to have enough guys in the box to play that immediate run, but also always be ready for that quarterback to take the ball and scoot out wide. And when the quarterback operates this like a magician, it makes it even tougher. Yeah, when he can see it, read it, and just flat go. Don't... Hey, that's a live ball. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover enforced by the defense. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession. For you. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver shows motion. Right back to the well. He kept those legs moving, gotten three out to the 19. Third and short, they've got them backed up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. They'll try to power their way ahead. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. And the Tar Heels will line up to punt it away. Fair catch was called for, but there is a flag on the play, and we'll have to sort it out. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Ruffing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Fast motion from the offense. The give to the back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He leaves it with his back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. The Tar Heels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. Johnson looking to throw. Unloads to the wall. Throws into double coverage and it's picked off. Taking it the other way. Inside the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! 
The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. And this defense has had a rough day, but how about this play? Breaking on the football, making the pick, taking it to the house, maybe build some momentum for some future games. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll run for it on third and short. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Movement here from the tight end. Here's the handoff, and the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense of making a play. Looking for a gap, it's Hampton. Third down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Motion from the offense. They'll go to the ground, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And here comes the field goal team. Salt, meet open wound. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. 